All right, welcome to your general love reading for May. I am back. I took a hiatus and uh, I had to do some things and now I'm back full time, but it's so good. I've missed you so, so, so much. Okay, so a uh, quick recap as I used to do for my readings. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? And not everything's gonna resonate with everyone. So whatever fits with your scenario, um, just leave the rest behind and take what resonates, okay? All right. I just want to get started and get into it because, you know, I was really excited to see what was going on with everyone. So first of all, you guys got facade, beliefs, change with courage, and the masculine. Okay, so this is definitely applying to the masculine in this situation. If you are masculine watching this, this is you. If not... Uh, if you are the, fem the feminine, your masculine is dealing with this, okay? So <clears throat> what I kind of see happening here is uh, there's some kind of impending change and the masculine seems to be kind of holding it in, uh, not really get hold. So I just heard not showing all their cards. Um, in regards to something that's really important in their life or the relationship, there's something, we're, but we're going to find out. But this feels like, uh, you know, introversion, trying to uh, figure out um, how this change will affect their relationship, how this change will affect their life. Uh, it's something, it feels very heavy, you know, it's a very heavy feeling here. Uh, and I feel a lot of anxiety. Uh, surrounding it. So we're going to get into the um, the overall situation. Also, uh, I forgot to tell you, so I am offering the extended readings. Um, so if this does res resonate with you, please join me in the link down below and I will be giving uh, extended readings. So there I'm going to go through the sacred soulmate cards, the romance angel cards, uh, what action they're going to take towards you and advice. So if this really does resonate with you, you know, join me. Um, we're going to go into in-depth detail on your person. Okay. And, uh, kind of dig a little bit and see what's, what else we can find out for the future. Um, also, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be here now full time. So I really do want to start doing live chats and other little things. Um, so you can see, you're going to be able to see me a lot more. Okay. <clears throat> all right. And if you don't uh, want to join me in extended, that's quite all right. I am glad you're joining me here and I'm just happy to be doing this again for you guys. Okay. Overall judgment card yeah that's very fitting with the change that is coming here uh because it felt like very anxious decision what is going to happen with this uh it's kind of like the fear of the unknown okay um like i'm feeling like the masculine wants something to happen although this change had to happen they're kind of curious and wondering how it's going to affect the relationship or how it's going to affect their life and it's something that they're afraid that it's going to affect something that they do not want to let go that they, they just don't want to let go of so it's kind of like this worry of I hope it's not going to affect that okay so however it fits your situation we're gonna find out and see what's going on ah the Empress popped out right new beginnings, abundance, right? Uh, but also um, symbolizing the female uh, counterpart, right? So this could be a twin flame situation. This could be soulmate situation. We're going to find out. But this is what they want. They don't want to, it to affect uh, the, begin the new beginnings, right, with somebody. All right, so let's see here. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Let's see first what you've been up to in regards to this person. Let's see. 
What has Gemini been up to with this person? Their person, let's see. The cards are kind of funny right now. Mm. All right, so we have the Magician Five of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Two of Cups. All right, so Gemini, you have been worried, right? This is like, you know, the five, the five of cups here, the magician, and you see, I'm just like zoning in on that cup there. So it's kind of like that, that thing you're doing right now. Like, do I, can I make this happen? Can I do this? Uh, will, will I be able with the magician here? Will I be able to make all of the, it's like all of these things happen. There's like so many things. We're going to find out what's going on, but it seems like so detailed. There's like many things that are changing in your life and you're not sure if, or changing in your person's life and you're not sure if the relationship here is going to stay intact. The promises that were made prior, you're worried if they're going to still be um, honored. Okay. Uh, tell me about this Five of Cups magician. Hangman reversed and temperance reverse. Yeah. Will the person wait with you? Will they be patient as you go through these changes or as your person goes through these changes? Will patience be involved? Will, will someone be able to put aside their wants to be able to look at the end goal? Okay. So, you may want to see each other right now, or you may want to be together right now in the physical form. There's something stopping that, but will you be able to wait for each other? Will you be able to withstand things that throw, that life throws you? Sorry, I'm getting a little jumbled. It's, uh, yes, it's quite, um, detailed in the sense of this is very, the, the, it's the aspect of someone's inner, inner being, inner soul. So it's a little different. Um, let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you. Hmm. Yeah, they have the same feeling, right? So this could be about money, a job, right? They need to, they need stability, right? They needed to change a job or change some form of their life in order to make money so that they can be independent and successful on their own before they can take care of someone else or be there for someone else. Uh, three of swords wheel. So they're also very, very worried and hurt and concerned that this change going on, um, is it okay? So I just heard, even though they've said it and they feel the same way, time, time, every always changes, right? So that's what I heard. But what I'm getting out of this is the cycle, you know, every minute is a passing moment, right? So tomorrow, this person's worried. Is tomorrow, are they going to change their mind? Are they going to, you know, think that the time that's, since we're spending so much time away from each other is it going to make them not want me as much? Is it going to make them not care as much? Are they going to, you know, falter away? Is it going to, the three of swords, like all these things in their mind, at least three, right? That they're like, you know, I don't normally find that for this card ever, but I'm really feeling like there's major points that they are feeling that are so hurt their mind's only making it up. It's not real. It's not reality. It's just fear and doubt, uh, that promises can be kept. Right. And that's what we were talking about here with the judgment card and the, <clears throat> the Oracle cards. Also the moon, right? Here we go. Well, here we go. The fear of the unknown, right? Not knowing what's actually going to happen. Tell me about the, the moon card. Strength in reverse. Yeah. Am I going to have the strength or the courage to withstand this? Am I going to be able to handle this if this person turns around and says, 
you know, a couple of weeks time, since you're not spending that much time together or whatever the situation is, are you going to, are they going to be able to go, oh my gosh, uh, they're just letting me go. I, I don't know if I can handle this. I don't know if I have the strength to deal with this. And because I don't know the moon card, am I going to have to, oh my gosh, I'm almost crying. <laughs> Somebody's feeling like really, really scared, like their heart is in the other person's hands. That's exactly what it is. Their heart is in someone else's hands here. That's okay. We're going to get to this, okay? Let's see how your person is feeling about you. All right. So we have, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. How they're feeling, Three of Pentacles, the World card, Page of Swords, Ten of Cups. They want to start a new beginning with you. They want to work together with you no matter what it takes, no matter how much time you need. <clears throat> they want to be with you here in the Ten of Cups, right? You, they're um, emotionally content with you. And... They want to be able to work work together with you on this to make sure that, you know, no matter what you need during this time. Yeah, Eight of Swords. That's the thing. They, no matter what it takes, right? So they're, there's nothing that they can do uh, right now. There's not much because whatever situation you're in, you know. But they're willing to hold back. They're willing to contain themselves so that... You, you guys can work out together, you know, like some of the world. I wish I knew your all your situations. World and the devil card. So this is something that they really want, right? They have fears and a lot of fears in regards to this new start, you know, and it's all about will this person keep their promises? Will this person be able to still be with me you know they said this yesterday but will they mean it tomorrow kind of thing okay all right uh let's see how you're feeling about your person all right so we have high priestess uh queen of pentacles four of wands you feel like this person Okay, I just heard that you feel this person and uh, and you have such a strong foundation and such a strong connection that it can withstand this, right? But this new change and this new way of being, you're kind of concerned as well. Will they be able to, you know, handle not me not calling them every day? Will they be able to handle... You know, moments where they don't know what's going on. Are they going to be strong enough? There's this, like, almost the same feeling, but you feel very strongly about this person as well. That your connection is so strong. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles lovers, right? And it's about foundations. You do feel like this person is the one you want to grow old with. The one that you want to... Uh, be together with in the end. You can see that happening. Some of the high priestess. Yeah. What is this? Okay. We have here font Knight of Wands. You feel like you can get through this. Even though you have your fears and doubts, you still can get through this and make this happen. This can be success a successful transition. It can happen. You do see them as very loving and very kind and someone that is always loyal to you and there for you and someone that you can call any minute of the day and be like, you know, I, what should I do here? I have this problem. What do you think? Or what do you think I should do in this situation? And they, they support you and they don't judge you. And that's, that's beautiful. Okay. So let's see what's transpiring. Um, in the current moment between you two. Let's see what's actually happening. All right, yeah. I kind of figured, I was wondering. So we have the Hermit, Nine of Cups, and Ten of Swords. 
So a lot of introversion right now, because we do have the judgment card, right? And we have facade change. There's a lot of uh, going within and trying to kind of even yourselves out and figure out, like make peace with yourself, figure out how am I going to do this? How, how am I going to make someone feel safe if I'm not there or I can't contact them? How am I going to, there's just like so many, you know, what ifs. Some of the Ten of Swords, Five of Wands, yeah. So this is actually great to see um, right now, both of you have the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> I know most people don't think it's a great card to get, but I actually prefer it because once you get the Ten, you start over, right? We need to start seeing the Ace of Swords. We need to start moving on from the situation to actually communicating, right? Clearing the air and understanding one another. And this is great. When the Hermit Ten of Swords, that means that at this moment, things are finally ending and being peaceful within yourself so that you guys can come together and actually talk about it. We also have the Nine of Cups, right? So you both know what you want. Nine of Cups, Two of Swords, exactly. You both know what you want, but nobody can do anything about it right now. It's just kind of like, you know, you both are, you both are kind of stuck. Uh, it seems like it's going to be worked through, but at the moment, um, both of you want each other and both of you love each other dearly. It's just that there are, there's some change going on that is really impacting this situation and this relationship. Let me see what I can get. Uh, what's going to happen between the two of them? All right, so we have the Nine of Swords, so still, you know, you're going to, both of you are still going to have anxiety in regards to the situation. You're going to feel anxious and worried. Uh, we have Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, so in the near future, somebody's wanting to, you know, offer something here, but they've put a lot of thought into it, right? And we know this because of the Hermit's card. We have four cups in the full card. So <clears throat> this is kind of like a little bit of procrastination at its best, just because I feel here not wanting to make the wrong move. <clears throat> yeah. Seven of swords. So it's seven of swords. Ace of cups and four of pentacles reversed. Wanting to make sure that this is like strategy, right? So someone's going to really not show all their cards. Like I said in the beginning, they want the Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles reversed. They're, they don't want to be like not open to you. They don't want to be closed off to you, but there's a strategy here that this person feels like they don't want to give too, too much. I know it's just really strange. <laughs> they don't want to give too, too much to you in fear that they cannot complete what they promised. Okay. Although they fully intend in, um, giving you what they promised because they invested here, you know, big time with you. They fully intend this, but, there's a lot of fears and almost, uh, tell the Nine of Swords, Eight of Cuts, yeah. There's almost some self-doubt because one of you or both of you, because you're in the same energy, um, are feeling like one might walk away, one might leave the situation to the Eight of Cups. Ace of Wands, yeah. Might find something else that you're interested in, might go off, get the idea and go, you know what, I'm going to just go do me. I'm just going to go work on this and slowly let the connection, because I see a slow pace here, slowly let the connection just kind of dwindle out. That's what I see. Um, that's the fear. That's not what they're doing, but that's the fear of it. Okay. So 
I'm gonna give you a little bit, Gemini, just because I love you guys. Uh, let's give you a little advice, even though I'm gonna do that in the extended, so you get a freebie here. Uh, what advice do you have for Gemini, please? All right. Three of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. So look towards expansion, right? This is like completely opposite. So please focus on looking forward, manifesting what you do want from this person, what you do want to see. Think of the positives, right? Six of Cups in um, advice for this spread is, is more of don't look at the past memories so much. Look forward, right? You have such great memories, but uh, it's telling me that some of you may have a tendency to focus on them, and then therefore it makes you depressed and sad that it's over for that situation, or if you work together, there's some t situation where you were together all the time, and now you can't be. Um, and also the Knight of Wands, you know? Still be cautious, still be, you know protecting what's yours but also be open to um expect you know open to what they are doing because this card to me right now is really saying uh, expectations lead to disappointment so don't have expectations and don't put anything on this person you know uh let the universe flow as it should go and whatever happens happens you know it may not be exactly how you want it to be or how things go but i see the end goal it will actually get there it's just you may not like the process but what this is saying is the universe is saying to enjoy the process uh by getting excited about the future and what things can be with this person okay gemini i'm gonna leave it here i love you guys if this does resonate with you join me for the extended reading down below and i will see you next time